Nestled in the historic Chuckatuck and Oakland borough of Suffolk, Virginia, sits Little Bethel Baptist Church. Since 1866, just one year after the Emancipation Proclamation, a group of recently freed slaves gathered under an oak tree on the grounds of the P.L. Bill estate of Nansman County to discuss their Christian future. The church first met in downtown Suffolk Railroad Station near the site of the present First Baptist Mayhem. By 1868, the church was constituted by the Commonwealth of Virginia. In the infancy stage, Little Bethel Baptist held church service only once a month with supply pastors. Early churchgoers walked, rode horses, and wagons to get to the house of God. After years of struggle with limited resources, construction on the church structure was completed in 1867. With America undergoing the Reconstruction Era and on to the Progressive Era, God continued to show His wondrous works through Little Bethel Baptist Church. After 27 long years, the church was rebuilt and relocated to its current location and was formally dedicated in 1893. In spite of more tumultuous times with World War I, the Great Depression, and then World War II, God still guided Little Bethel Baptist Church. The church blossomed with the inception of the first senior choir, second senior choir, children's day, youth choir, youth Sundays, and 10 friends, the main fundraising committee for the church. During segregation, Little Bethel Baptist was home to the all-black Boy Scout troops 59 and 305, Cub Scouts, and Explore Post 95 with dedicated men of the church who served as scoutmasters. Also, members worked to register voters. In the midst of the Civil Rights Movement, our Sunday school sponsored trips to black-only beaches, Ocean View, and Buck Row Beach. Little Bethel Baptist Church soared in the midst of every generational cultural crisis in the country and is still a place where one generation passes down the love of God to the next. Well, we say that it's a monumental occasion. We say by the grace of God, he's brought us this far. And basically the um, congregation and the congregants, um, to them, it's, it's a legacy. Um, it's a celebratory moment. And it's a moment that we should always remember and cherish um, in our hearts and in our minds. If, if the good Lord has some in. And not only that, you had to have some, some good time years to oversee this matter and make it look like it looked today. This just didn't come that people just laying by. They looked ahead to me, I think they looked ahead and thought about the future. And if you think about it, all those one they had a hand, this is a gun. So we want to leave a good example for when we are gone here, for these people to carry it on like we did. I feel wonderful because I know my parents and grandparents all made, made this possible and other members uh, that were here, they made this possible because they worked so hard to see this beautiful church. I'm blessed to be a member of Little Beth Baptist Church. I am 92 years old, and I've been here all my life, and I've been serving the Lord all my life. And the older I get, the sweeter it gets, and I love the Lord, love everybody. I couldn't feel better than my church being 150 years old. I have been at Little Bethel all my life, and I am very, very glad to announce my father was a digging for over 50 years, and my mother was the church mother. These diggers were strong men in the Lord. What they said had value to it, and it could only be God within them that called them to stand the way that they did. And this church is here today because of the strong leadership that we've had here in this church. One of the things that I will always remember about the members of Bethel is the caring spirit. Um, one of the most important things that I remember about the women is that they were all very strong women. Um, they taught us to have a backbone. They taught us to 
get an education. I've seen uh, the 10 Friends Club meet in my grandmother's home, uh, uh, cooking and, and fundraising. I've seen uh, our men come together for the community. Um, it's just uh, an exciting time, uh, 2016, to see where we have come from our history and where we're going. It's all about kingdom building. I'm proud because my mother was raised up in here, my aunt, and she raised all four of her kids. And I'm raising my daughter, and my husband was welcomed in as we got married. And we just love it. We love this church. Church have grown. Everybody seen it get along right good together. 150 years. It is a benchmark for other churches to get to and attain. But at the same time, we look at those who have come before us and yet those who are here with us to celebrate it and those who are coming after us. Could not have come to pass except that God was with us. Uh, we, we, we cannot dare to think about that amount of time without God being in it because organizations nowadays, churches, they don't last very long. But if God is in it, and God has his will, then the church will succeed and it will go on. So all praise, all honor, and all glory go to God for the 150 years. From 1866 to 2016, 17 pastors led this flock with conviction and dedication and helped to charter a course set on biblical principles that remain Little Bethel Baptist Church's foundation. The early worshipers had a heart for God, and even then they knew all things are possible through Christ. The original pews were said to have been made by former slaves, and the markings on the outside are African dialect, known as cursive Hebrew. The ceiling of the church is in the design of a carpenter block, which is a quilt code that runaway slaves used to guide them on the Underground Railroad, meaning help from Jesus would guide them. Through each generation, pastors, deacons, deaconesses, trustees, choir members, musicians, ushers, missionaries, youth, and others at Little Bethel Baptist continue to grow from the seed planted 150 years ago. Our ancestors were deeply rooted in faith in very uncertain times, but as we look toward our future, we must continue to honor God and our legacy for years to come. Little Bethel Baptist Church celebrates our sesquicentennial church anniversary in unity and with agape love.